Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another video of the Swiggy clone application. So in the last video we built uh, all the remaining APIs for the restaurant service and uh, we were able to do login with the Google. We understood how the Firebase integration is happening, how we are doing a Firebase integration to do provide a login, a simple login. Now in this video we are going to migrate Redux to the Redux, Redux toolkit. So most of the React developers are more familiar with the Redux as it became popular, came earlier. Now we have Redux Toolkit which is just built on top of the same and the architecture looks like same. It's just all about more about structuring and giving you giving you the lightweight implementation using Redux slices and how we can use Redux in the functional component by using these use dispatch and use selectors. Okay, so what we are going to do here is uh, we we'll just this is our simple UI which is which we already have. I can do login with Google, and what it does is it takes me to the home page, and there we are using these Redux states. So if I just try to inspect this Redux dev tools to the bottom, then I can see lots of things like the Redux state. Okay, whatever we have. This is my current Redux state. I kind of don't like this much. I wanted to convert it into the Redux toolkit, but Redux state will always be there. I wanted to restructure it in the different way. Auth is, this is fine. Then we have a restaurant. We have selected restaurant, restaurant with the dishes, right? So this is the restaurant, which will contain all the area of all the restaurant Then restaurant will have selected restaurant. Then we have a dish, dishes. Because on the home page we are going to show all the dishes and all the restaurant on the landing page. So first of all, how we proceed further? This is our Redux, and it is having these actions and reducers, right? And this is our store. We are configuring the store with this thunk middleware, right? Which Redux thunk we are using. But when we are using Redux toolkit, we don't need to use Redux thunk or any additional middleware to deal with the asynchronous API calls. So what I'm going to do, let's keep these folders uh, here. We may need to look into what the code is in there. So I will just be just creating a features and store folder. And inside that I will create my index.ts. That is my store, that the new store I'm going to create. And the new store I'm going to create with the Redux toolkit. First of all, add the Redux toolkit in your package JSON. So this is Redux JS toolkit. I have added 1.7.1 .1. React Redux we already have. So we are good. We don't need Redux toolkit extensions, Redux thong, Redux logger. Now you can get rid of them because we are not going to use any additional middleware. So we will just remove them. Now if you want to look into what is Redux toolkit and how to integrate it we are going to just use some slices and those slices like auth slice restaurant slice dish slice and then we will create configure a store uses guide simple setup configure store you can just configure your custom middleware also i mean this is how we do with the redux right so uh, now we are we can do the same thing using this redux toolkit configure store and your pass all your reducers okay this is how we were creating store earlier. No major change as far as I know. Earlier we were doing combine reducer. Okay, so this is how we are writing uh, reducers and all. Now earlier we used to write actions, right? Writing actions creator, defining the actions creator with the create actions and all. Now this is a little bit more simplified. We still have actions, but I'm not exposing the actions like this. If I just show you simple slice code, okay, where it is? Yeah, simple slice. So inside this reducers, we have this create post, update post, delete post. So these are considered as an actions, and you can export these actions from here, right? And these actions I can trigger from my component instead of defining the actions with the type and payload separately. So exporting and using using the slices you can see i just created this simple slice so what this slice contains slice contains the reducer slice contains okay uh, these all are uh, all actions are i'm supporting create update and delete post so i'm exporting actions and reducer 
these all are my actions and finally i'm just exporting the reducer out from it and once you are exporting reducer this uh, reducer can be used in the config uh, store right configure store so a simple user slice uh, and we are exporting these actions and this is how we were doing with the redux thunk right you can use the thunk middleware also uh, define the thunk that dispatches those actions created like first we uh, fetch the data using a, a, a api call and then dispatch these particular actions or uh, i think uh, now we have particular pattern also in the redux toolkit that is create async thunk that's we that's what we are going to use to deal with asynchronous api calls so what i'm doing here if you see the code this is important part to th that will help us in migration so i'm doing some api calls right and here this response to data so this api can have a multiple state idle in progress rejected or resolved right so this is my initial state and if this uh, slice doesn't deal with any synchronous actions that means okay where you are just sending actions and updating state here we are sending actions and it's not updating state it's making api call and we have to wait for a promise to be resolved for that we are using extract reducers and here we can add a different cases okay this is the api call dot fulfilled dot resolved dot rejected these are the promise three different promise states right so instead of using thunk middleware we can just use this create async thunk that's actually a replacement of using thunk with the redux i mean we are using uh, redux thunk middleware so instead of that we can do it something like this okay and thunk api is nothing but some api call mechanism and here you can see it is making uh, fetching api call getting us the data and that data will be available here inside this action dot payload because here you can see fulfilled fetch user dot fulfilled once you got you are making the api call so this reducer will wait this extract reducers are something some something which will wait until this promise is fulfilled and once the promise is fulfilled it will update the state like this okay so let's get started we are going to write uh, these kind of slices and all so first of all we we need to configure our store export default so we need to write configure store that is coming from redux toolkit and here you can pass all the reducers so what all reducers we have user so this user reducer we are going to create then we have a restaurant this restaurant reducer we are going to create and then we have dishes this dishes restaurant we are going to create so this is the dish reducer this is restaurant reducer okay and that's it we can also pass another argument like dev to is true that means we want to debug the redux state or using dev tools so this is our store the same store we can pass to the provider at the root uh, here we are passing the provider and this is our store so we can just use store index so we have redux store index.ts yeah we are passing the same store here a store dot ts there is already a file so if you want to change it to this store we need to change this store to a store folder and index this is export default so this is our redux toolkit store we are importing it through the redux a store index.ts and this is our new store inside store folder now uh, if you see auth what it is doing it is dispatching all these actions login log out login field login success register request register field register success a simple actions right synchronous actions you can say and this is my reducer how can i convert this into the auth slice can we try so i will just create auth dot slice dot ts and what the auth simple slice looks like 
if we just look into our reducer i will just try to copy some state some some things from here this is my initial state okay and we need to import create slice from redux toolkit and then we can just create a const export const auth slice and here we can call create slice and create slice it takes some argument like name and we can just pass auth is the name initial state so we already have initial state variable already defined and this is reducers so here we are going to write a reducers many reducers because this is auth slice is all about dealing with the synchronous actions okay set authentication set login success set login failures register success register failure set login data so it's all are synchronous actions so synchronous actions means that doesn't deal with the api call and the promises so auth actions here i can take some help so we are using cases here but we don't need to deal with the cases these are methods here so inside this okay i will write the code and then i will change it so case login success so i can just create a simple reducer login login success what it takes is two argument current state which is any let's say and the action so your current state uh, state we can create a uh, enum for it like initial state it is of type so we need we contains a register and all let's say for now any otherwise you can create a type interface for this so this is any any and what we are going to do is inside this we are going to update the state okay so uh, inside the state what we are doing is current state okay this is let's build an arrow function so this should be payload okay action dot payload and action dot payload dot token So if you see the reducer here what what where this payload is coming from okay type and payload that's part of action action dot type action dot payload and here we are getting the whole action object so inside that we have action dot payload action dot payload dot token okay so this is good login success similarly we have a login failure login failure we just need to update this current state with auth something like this okay so i can just write another function for this login what was the variable earlier login failed so we will use the same thing login failed so this is my function name which is taking two arguments actions and state state and action login fail this is my another function okay this is returning action dot payload dot error action dot payload dot error and it's an arrow function okay same thing will go with the logout register success register failure and register request so i can do this uh, i mean I, I will do this this is the auth slice auth slice is plain and simple it is just exposing all these reducer functions now what all it will expose it will just uh, return me export const all the actions right so this is auth slice dot actions and what all actions you see login failed login success so in the component you can import these actions and you can dispatch directly export const do we need to get the state using selectors from this because this is auth right so we can just say export const auth selector auth selector equal to so this is a function which takes state as an argument and it is going to return as state dot auth 
because if you see uh, what we are returning from this is state dot I mean we should be returning the whole object whatever the current state is so there is no need of uh, really a selector here and then export default what we need to get we need to get the reducer out of it so this is the auth slice dot reducer this we need to export from here so that I can import this default export inside my store so it will become like this okay this is auth and this is auth slice similarly user reducer so what user reducer we will create a user slice for it so I already got the code what I will do is I will just clean up these methods same as that method so I can reduce, return, remove these uh, actions and the old Redux reducer. So I do have a Redux. I can also have a user because from Firebase we are managing the user session. So it will contain a user dot slice dot ts. And what user slice will looks like? We'll copy somewhat some code from here and try to copy paste. I will clean up some of the code which we don't need login field okay okay so this is user slice so what user slice says is okay once you do the login and log out from the firebase I need to track the user state so here we can use some interface and typings so export interface user that contains couple of arg argument display name which is of type string photo is of type string email is of type string uid is of type string this is coming from firebase so whenever you do the login firebase auth change callback will give us this data so interface user state will contain uh, these properties user can be of type this user or it will be of null right if you are not logged in then it will be of type null and then uh, what is my initial state const initial state uh, is of type user object inside this it will be empty for now as the user state right user state have a user as an object so this is my initial state which I am passing here okay now what are the actions we have so you need to change the name of the slice to the user here it will be a login because when you do the firebase login we need to synchronize the data so state action what we need to do is state dot user so I will just update uh, my state state dot user equal to action dot payload and inside payload we are expecting that you will be sending a user interface something like this display name photo email uid and then log out So logout contains a user state we don't need to deal with actions because we are not updating any property or something like that here I can just say state dot user equal to null so auth slice which is just tracking the login logout success and all so the thing is we are using auth slice and the user slice either ideally there should be no two slices dealing with the same data here also we are maintaining the user object that we should not so I will just remove the token properties auth properties because this is you are doing a login with using email and password so we are just tracking the register status current user auth is also we can just track the registration form or the login form because this is the register success and then similarly there should be there would be a login success and login failure
okay that we will see so this is auth slice and this is user slice in user slice we are just populating the user object once you are logged in and do setting the user object null once you do the logout okay and uh, if you want we can actually merge these both the states login and logout in the auth slice that would be better i think auth current user so we can just call it as a user is of type uh, user i will remove all of these cases okay so we have a login success login failure in the login success we are sending action load payload authentication true payload token okay login success so similarly we will have a logout so logout action doesn't have anything inside action so current user will be set to null token will be set to null authentication is auth false error null register status that's fine so login success logout and then we have a couple of methods on the register success register failure and all these we will toggle so we don't need a uh, auth slice separately because auth slice is also setting up this user object to whatever we are getting inside a payload so login auth slice we can remove user slice we can remove and inside auth slice this user is of type user what happened okay this is the initial state so obviously we are doing we will initialize this to the null this is the value okay we can also create a interface initial state interface that contains auth is of type any we will just define the types for each and every property and then user is of type user okay so this is initial state is of type initial state user can be of type user or null okay so this is how we are dealing with the current state so what it is doing is this is my initial state right so in it's from the initial state what we are returning is whatever my current state update auth current user and token auth current user and token so we have two more properties in the initial state token is also null instead of user we can say current uh, user okay and there is another property which is token it can be string or null what happened current user okay this is current user now not user and token so this is how we are setting the properties token null current user auth we are just overriding only auth login failed similarly we have these different uh, actions and reducers like register success register failure i can also let's add those methods and we can get rid of this so there is a register success first of all register failed this is action okay so what your whatever your current state and once your register status registration is failed you will just we are just overriding only the register property so this is my current state and i'm saying is action dot payload dot registration status sometimes it's better to put optional because we don't know if this property is coming so registry register failed and then register success closing this is closing okay so register failed and then we have register success so here inside register success payload dot status registration error is false
and registration loading is false similarly registration started or registration request register request this is like a first call you will send and based on that based on that registration loading is true because something is in progress registration status is zero that means registration error is false and this is just a simple toggling right and now what all actions we are exporting logout register fail register success register request and uh, what is our current state so we are exporting the whole state object which contains auth is auth true false and we can say whenever you do the login success we are just setting is auth true is auth false on the logout current user null token null on the logout otherwise we are populating this properties so inside action dot payload we will be sending the token also okay so this is my auth slice okay so now we can create other slices so we can see the user slice or we already have auth slice similarly we can create a cart slice and the restaurant slice so i will try to show you how our uh, cart slice this slice and the restaurant slice looks like so okay here we have redux auth slice similarly there will be a cart slice dot ts that i will create so now we don't need to worry about uh, cart features add to cart update cart and uh, delete cart okay that is fine so here we will create other folders this is and we have restaurant which is already there so we can create a restaurant slice here okay so uh, if you if you look what this ui is about ui is all about fetching the restaurant data dish menu data and showing it we would need an admin interface i can create a simple application what that application will do is uh, that will allow us to just create a uh, uh, restaurants populate the dish menu items currently i'm doing it from the api side but there should be a, a separate interface which will allow you to create a restaurant dish menu items update delete it's like a restaurant admin who is managing the restaurant should be able to create pro, uh, restaurant profile and should be able to add dish menu items upload images and all sort of stuff he should be able to do so for that there should be a separate service performing all those actions this is the end user application which it cannot be used by restaurant admins to just create and all these things it's it's all about rendering where user can see the dish menu items fetch the restaurant data and all so if you see this restaurant slice i will just try to uh, explain what we are doing inside this restaurant slice so if you see restaurant slice looks like similar it's like a simple slice which has a two state it just list of all the restaurants we have and the selected restaurant because from the landing page when you click on selected restaurant we need to fetch the restaurant detail with all its dish menu items so here we are using this create async thunk so uh, as we have seen already in the documentation how this create async thunk works i mean you can create a multiple uh, async thunks and then you can populate the data based on the their different state like update user dot fulfilled fetch user dot fulfilled right fetch user dot fulfilled update user dot fulfilled similarly we are doing the same thing here in the extract reducers we are tracking all the different states fetch restaurant dishes so first of all on the landing page we want to fetch all the the restaurants at least the top 10 restaurants and on the api side we need to see what is the exact api call so i'm just doing a api uh, simple restaurants that should give me the top 10 restaurants i'm not passing any criteria but you can just say okay phase one and i think there is another criteria limit is 10. simple pagination okay i will fetch the the top 10 restaurant and here we are doing the pending fulfilled and rejected in in the fulfilled i will update this data so this is my redux state if this is the api data this can be a, you can also have a types okay this is the restaurant attributes and this is going to be the restaurant data array 
okay and the selected restaurant when you want to fetch the particular restaurant data so here you are passing the id and this action this you can this you can import in your component and dispatch it so fetch restaurant dishes you can just directly call it using simple dispatch it's actually a async, uh, async action and what this will do what this function will do when you call it from the component it automatically triggers all these uh, reducer actions okay once the promise is fulfilled it will automatically update your state with the selected restaurants which is coming from the payload which is whatever is coming in the payload it will update it so this is the restaurant slice and what do we have in the actions i don't think we need these actions and reducer i will remove them so this is our restaurant slice and then we have dishes so i will create a dish slice.ts this will also be kind of similar so dish dot slice dot ts okay it's the same thing fetch dishes it is we want to fetch the the dishes so we can just say page one and uh, limit 10 okay i also need to check the apis uh, so for that i will start this application swiggy app auth service restaurant npm run start dev i'm not sure if uh, the container is running so we need to start a docker so you can see our docker container is not running so it will say okay unable to connect to the database that is expected so docker will be started in just few seconds and then i will try to start my application again okay okay it's coming up and swiggy clone okay so we have the container up and running i will just do npm run start again and then we will see our uh, simple apis so it started either it is using port 3001 okay so here this is what i was looking for i will just call api v1 restaurant this will give me the top restaurants okay strange what is this error about okay unauthorized but uh, fetching the list of restaurants should not be protected so i will just make it optional so go to the domain restaurant restaurant controller restaurant controller okay api v1 so search like search search is uh, not protected similarly we need to remove auth guard from the gate api also get restaurants actually this api we have created for uh, restaurant admins we can use this api which i think is public so yes uh, limit one and offset this api we can use because this is public to the end user this is like uh, you are a restaurant admin and you want to fetch only your restaurants then it should be protected user and uh, i want to add authorization also here currently the firebase token doesn't have the role property because we are using firebase and we are not populating any additional metadata property so what we will do is once the user gets logged in we can we can also populate some metadata in the the database okay this is the user id and this is the role or i will check how we can uh, populate some additional properties in the firebase to set some roles okay but this is like okay for now even if we forget about the roles only a logged in user can access these restaurant apis and about the dishes this is the api you can hit that will give you the dish menu items okay you don't need to pass the whole parameter like search text and all you can just pass like search text i'm just moving this out then you can just pass the order by simply api v1 dishes so this is the api v1 dishes and api v1 restaurants these are the two apis we are going to consume i will just pass these so from the the restaurant slice let's go to our front end app again 
so this is the dish slice this is the restaurant slice i mean ideally we should do it in uh, api layer so these are the features right these are like uh, all the slices here we can create another folder which is let's say api here inside the api you will be doing all the api related stuff like okay using axios and making api calls and then so i will just say index.ts because sometimes you need to build the url sometimes you need to manipulate the response all those things you can be performing here and here we can just to import axios from axios okay is it not uh, it's a default import so here we can just define either a class or uh, individual methods like okay uh async function fetch restaurant so what we are going to do same same calls we are going to perform here here we can have the base url and okay going to the packageation here we can also have because front end is running on different port and the back end is running on different port so here i think we there is a proxy property it's not coming up proxy and you can just specify okay http local host and this is 3001 okay let's say this is running on 3001 so we are doing proxying of all the requests to the 3000 create react app should uh, patch it otherwise we need to create a middleware okay now inside source we have created api index.ts similarly what we need to do is simple api calls like for this restaurant slice we are making this call right so this segment can be moved out to our api layer and here we are saying is return axios dot get even this is simply we can await this call await axios dot get const data okay you can pass the id which is of type string fetch restaurant dishes sorry and here response.data and return response.data similarly let's say i want to write another function Port function it's better if i write a functions like this const this and here we can just write an arrow function export const fetch restaurant dishes and this will become export const fetch restaurants this is a sync function so put an arrow function there so we need to just use this url which we got so this is about fetching the restaurant right so api v1 along url api v1 restaurant search uh, we don't need to pass let longs these should be optional search text is also optional we can just pass page and limit search page and limit 10 response to it, uh, page 1 limit 10 okay fetch restaurant fetch dishes this is again a sync function response to data and api call will be somewhat like this here we are passing page and limit order by we can still pick So we can copy the whole okay so it will fetch the random top 10 dishes this is top 10 restaurants and this is fetch restaurant dishes so you have selected a particular restaurant i wanted to fetch the dishes so okay that is uh, that api is this one 
this is api v1 and id uuid right so this is api v1 restaurant and uuid okay because that will give me all the details about the restaurant and the id and here we are passing the id okay so this is simple api calls now i mean it's not only just like we are doing exios call lots of things we can perform here like extracting the data and all all sort of stuff we can perform here so what we will do now is going to our dish slice and the restaurant slice and we will use this apis okay so export const fetch restaurant so we can just import these either you can cr create a class and then import these otherwise i think creating a class is good option class uh, i mean the naming is really hard so what we will do is external apis and here you can define all the methods inside it you just need to now uh, again we need to change all these functions we can just simply say fetch async similarly we will just make it as a sync function Okay, so this is async fetch uh, this is sorry for rewrite i was not thinking i mean you can imp import it like this also i just want uh, to make it something like this and you can also make these functions static async static or static async right we don't need to create the object of this class to call these methods that's the only thing i want and this is simple class export class external apis and then you can import this class in your slices so we need to go one step out another api and then inside this we are just exporting the class external apis and here we need to make it async right currently uh, how it looks like is create async thunk your thunk name and then async here fetch dishes we don't need to pass any id because we are just passing the the dishes and what we need to do here is simply we need to return property right so external api dot fetch dishes that's it so whatever the data it is returning it is already resolving the response dot data so we are good here similar stuff we need to do everywhere so this is the dish slice fetch dishes here we need to fetch the restaurants fetch restaurant dishes async we are getting the id and then I will use this async we already have return external API fetch restaurant what are the other methods here we see I will import this and then dot fetch restaurant dishes so this will give me I need to pass the ID to call this so that is about the restaurant dish slice and then there is a one more call which is fetching the restaurants so i will just make it a sync here we don't need to pass the id and i just need to return this external api dot fetch restaurants that's it so this is how you can just create makes a little bit clean and whatever we need to build the url and uh, url and extract or play with the response we can do it in the api class okay so this slice restaurant slice we have and then uh, user slice we have now we need to update the code because in the code we are using actions dispatching and all now to dispatch all these actions we will be using the same stuff here we are exporting the actions 
if you see the bottom top dishes and the dish slice dot reducer and currently it doesn't have any synchronous actions i mean it, it's not doing any actions right but we need to do is we just need to dispatch all these fetch dishes for the restaurant we need to dispatch only fetch restaurant dishes and fetch restaurant there is no particular reducers so these are the here we will just specify only the synchronous reducers which where you just pass the actions and the data and you just mutate the state here these all are asynchronous actions which are updating the state okay so now we need to clean up these errors add dishes currently we don't have this we don't have this action and we don't want to add the dishes like this so i will remove this thing and add dishes also i will remove there are many errors here and there add restaurant we are not adding the restaurant like this so i will remove this stuff also it's like handle navigate maybe it's being called from somewhere i will just remove this stuff from here what are the errors login sign up because here yeah here we are using lots of dispatch so let's go there login sign up these actions okay because now these actions have changed so we need to import them first okay i will just do it in the different way okay so this is our register success so what we need to dispatch this is the payload so what we are dispatching is this dispatch we are getting from the use dispatch right and here we are going to dispatch the register success so we already have action for that and register dispatch uh, this is taking an argument actions okay simple payload so we can just pass this payload okay register success and this register success is okay these are the different actions right it takes two arguments state and action going to here okay number and void race is not assignable to type void register success is an action which we have okay let me check what is this error so we have fixed uh, the remaining uh, small small issues from here and there and now the uh, how we are going to dispatch the actions you can see this is our user context right this is the provider on top of all the components and whenever the auth uh, so whenever the firebase auth state changed then what it is doing is it is dispatching this action to the login success and we already have defined the login success in our uh, slice you can see what login success is doing it is updating the current user token and auth state that's uh, that's what we want and we also need to update the logout on the header because from there we are using the logout so newbar let me see okay we are doing uh logout so i need to search that Firebase dot logout on click is auth set open dialog. I mean it's directly doing that and it is dispatching this right. So here we need to dispatch the action. What is the action we have is sign out logout. Okay. So this logout action we need to import from the slice. Okay, what is the action name? I always forget. So go to our slices. This slice auth slice. So inside auth slice, we have a logout action, right? And that we are exporting also from here. So auth slice dot actions, I can import that. 
let's go to the new bar and here can we import it from here looks like it's not able to find it so i will just import this here okay it's already imported right a log out from watch slice why it's is, is it expecting something like payload let's say we just pass any property so this is the log out which is state and action i mean this is a log out from the actions that's it going to the new bar and let's see what is the problem here dispatch log out okay so first let's see the user context here we are able to send a payload okay it should have a, i think the payload property let's try to send something in the logout also so login success similarly we are sending the logout so it should not have anything by the way payload should be null i mean it's all about setting the user object to the null dispatch something is wrong which i'm not getting so dispatch is coming from use dispatch that's correct what is error let's see argument type of payload null is not assignable to parameter payload null and void if void the same error i was getting somewhere else also so if we see this uh, login success this is how we are populating the data in the redux store and the same we are able to see that in the redux store also if i just see okay i need to sign in with one of the google account and then inside the redux i can see okay token email name and all these things this is not coming because now we need to we have a different uh, state object tree inside auth we have a current user and then there is a payload so okay payload obviously i think we need to uh, we i mean payload should not be a tree object what we should do here is on the login success if we go inside login success action dot payload so it should be action dot payload inside that also it is sending a payload object so if i just see okay this is somewhat wrong what we can do we can just send this property only so we will not get a further nested object so now if i reload then you can see in the current user we got the token email name and username right and i can see that property popping up here because now we are getting the correct state and i can just do log out it will refresh and this is how our redux to redux toolkit migration is working now we have a restaurant all the states are also coming up right now what we need to do on the landing page we need to fetch the restaurant and fetch the dishes this is the api call we need to trigger so we can have the data of an array of restaurant an array of dishes that we can show on the landing page okay so let's play with these typescript errors i actually downgraded my redux typing react redux typing and it solved those issues because there was no fix for those and then i checked the versions so i can just do app logout and here also we don't need to pass the payload because it's all about resetting the auth state to null and now how can we uh, so we are going to the landing page and on the landing page i wanted to fetch all the the restaurant and dish menu items so this is our landing page home page and what i did i i just added these two calls what these calls are actually doing if you just see uh, these simple calls it's fetching the restaurant and fetching all the dish menu items on the landing page which is using the apis right here which we have written just now fetch restaurant 
api v1 restaurant landing page page limit 10 currently we don't have that that much of the data right so if i just load the page again and i can see the data coming for the restaurant and data coming for the the dish menu items so i can access that using selectors state dot dishes dot dish dot data so this is how we can get the array of all the dish menu items and same for the restaurants dot restaurants dot data i mean we cannot get rid of this intermediate variable otherwise what you can do is don't have you just use the root object because i want to have this another parent object so that i can have a selected restaurant selected dishes inside the dishes object that's why there is some duplicate so we can use this selector now go to these slices restaurant slice so here it is a restaurant selector top restaurants is coming from state dot restaurants uh dot restaurants dot data actually this is coming from the root state let's see if we can get this using youth selector so we'll go to the home page and here how we can get it using youth selector like use dispatch const top restaurants equal to use selector and use selector we are using top restaurant which we need to import so it is going to give us the top restaurants in town All right the, those are like uh, the restaurants which we can iterate so this is our navy bar for the home page and inside the new bar we have a carousel and here let's see where do we have our components so restaurant list right this is where we are going to pass so what we can do is either you pass the data here directly so i mean there is there is a lot of existing code also written that we will remove so we'll go to the home page either we can fetch the data directly in that component itself top restaurant in the town We'll go to this component and this component is accessing this data we will just add the typings top restaurants in the town and here uh, because here we need to do a lot of filtering and all for now i just wanted to show the data that okay data is coming so we are doing a map on the list here it is so we have the restaurant what i will do is restaurant dot map and then restaurant card and that is accessing the properties and that is accessing lots of different properties which we don't have first of all i will just change this to the restaurants and this we are accessing in this component So let's see okay uh, this is how we are fetching the data use lazy load okay because here it, there is some additional code we have written it's actually loading the components okay so what we are doing is we are trying to fetch the restaurant and the dishes on the landing page and for that i actually populated some of the nice images in the database so here you can see uh, this is our uh, simple landing page home page right here we are rendering the restaurant uh, list and the dish list and inside the restaurant list what we are doing is we have these different filters right so these filters we are writing a use reducer and we are just changing these filters whenever you click on these tabs and then uh, when you want to click on to this tab then we are just dispatching and updating the list of, list of filters and whenever these filters are getting updated we are going to dispatch this fetch restaurants currently we are not passing the filters but here we can pass the filters here the filters is actually an object 
it's not taking argument so that is the enhancement we will do fetch restaurants right and what it will do is it will populate our state so whenever you cl uh, click on to these uh, different tabs right what we are doing is we are making an api call currently it's like it's going to call the same api call because we are not passing these filters and you can see uh, if the filters are getting changed then we are going to make an api call and we can also pass the filters and in our api class we can build the api url for okay these are the filters order by and filter by these properties so here this is our home page inside we are showing a restaurant list so these are just the filters this is our main dispatch store dispatch and we are dispatching the fetch restaurants that's that's uh, how we are able to populate this data in the redux dev tool so here i can show you redux dev tool and we will see the chart okay, let me close this so you can see the list of all the restaurants and all the dish menu items right we still need to populate couple of properties like ratings average pricing cost for two which is same as average pricing and then uh, what else we are showing the ratings on the card price for two a delivery time currently the, the restaurant id page is not uh, built because we need to fetch again the another slice action to fetch the data about that restaurant so this is the restaurant and these are the dish menu items we see okay and here quick, quick view it, it can show you the all the menus which this particular restaurant is providing okay and when it comes to the delivery time because our api supports all those things here we can just pass uh, the search text page and limit this is like okay when you want to fetch all the list of restaurants and here inside this is you can actually pass the filter type order by so same filters we have applied on the dish menu items okay what are the populars we based on the ratings cost low to high cost high to low and delivery time ascending and descending order rating ascending and descending i mean highly rated cost low to high and cost high to low okay i just added a simple loading also with just uh, some delay so we can just see okay it's not delay is not happening properly so we can see all the menu items here we can put a see more and then we can just fetch the next page items currently there are only four records in the database uh, dummy records but the, you can have a view more that will fetch the page too right so if you look look into this segment what we are doing we have our local state local use reducer which is maintaining the filters and whenever you change the filters we know filters had changed then we are using use effect to make the api call and then we can also have another button see more that will change the page number limit is still the same page number two page number three so it will just fetch the next page and inside our slices for those actions when you are asking for more we will append we will not override the data we will append or we will push the records in the existing state so we can see more items okay so this is a simple implementation and this is how we can see a simple migration of uh, redux with the redux toolkit by using the slices there, there is lot more work we need to do like this slices we have a restaurant slices currently it's just fetching all the list of restaurant even it's not doing some filtering let's say here it is fetching all the restaurant dish menu items so this is what we need so when you click on to this particular restaurant tile what will happen is it will take you to the restaurant landing page right so here this is our main router coming to our routes all routes so this is the route we are going to hit when you click on to the tile this is the restaurant page and here what we are doing is here we got the params and with the help of these params we are going to make another dispatch because based on this restaurant id i am going to fetch the all the data about the restaurant and its dishes so we can just do a simple use effect call because this is going to be a one time call and here we are passing id and we can just use a dispatch okay dispatch is not imported here
use dispatch and then I can inside a use effect I can dispatch fetch restaurant dishes that takes I think ID as input let me see so we can import this it is taking id as an input okay why it is complaining then uh, id is string undefined id is required because this is a path param and once you do it what what is happening is external api call and we are going to set some data in our state so what is our state is selected restaurant selected restaurant we will have a data action dot payload will have selected restaurant and we also need to have a selector here that will give me selected restaurant so state dot restaurant dot it should be selected restaurant that contains a state data error so selected restaurant is our selector we'll go to this page restaurant page and we will use this selector Use selector select restaurant okay let's import this one and this is or uh, i mean the whole data dish data we don't need to import this uh, separately because inside data because this is this is what we will get using this const state and data and inside if you want to get the dish data then it will be data dot uh, dishes we need to see our apis like what they are returning so i'm talking about this particular api api v1 restaurant id and dishes uh, not this one restaurant by id that should be able to give me all the dishes information also So let's see what data we are getting then dish data selected menu these are the menu items and then uh, we are just passing this data data dot menu okay it should not be data dot menu so let's see first uh, what data we are getting and then we will play with this so console dot log we are putting this data inside redux state okay okay it will not even allow you to do that uh, it's selector undefined because uh, state and data it should be calling this use effect but before that uh, before even that it uh, is failing because we are trying to access some properties which is not there so state and data but what is the error cannot destructure property state of as it is undefined that is true because if data is not there inside this then it won't be able to give us the data so selected restaurant this selector if we see state dot restaurant dot selected restaurant selected restaurant we should have some initial state restaurant and then that's the mistake we have done selected restaurant and here also we need to have all these properties restaurant state okay now this looks fine so initial state uh, i mean even the you didn't fetch any data it will give us the data as an empty array right the state dot restaurant dot selected restaurants will be empty array it you be using this in a initial state so it won't break the ui now there will be error but something else uh, that's what i think so you can see can't read property and define a filter we are doing some filtering on the search so we will write this logic later 44 okay i will implement these filters a little bit later okay
so which particular page it is complaining uh, restaurant.tsx okay here we got the data now we are trying to apply filters so let's say we are not doing any filters for now this search this is fine i mean i wrote some dummy code which is just like okay showing the the restaurant details and just showing all the dish menu items remove the breakpoints and let's see uh, okay there are some more problems for each so it is giving us array zero console dot log data that's fine because initially the array will be empty and then cannot read property and defined of for each data dot for each okay there are uh, some existing code is written i will try to get rid of that so what we are fetching we are fetching the state and data data contains the restaurant information and the dishes inside it now dishes is this data if it is there then it will try to filter it okay handle dish search we will do the set search operation use effect i think now it should be clean now we are getting this object so you can see inside that we are getting dishes okay that we can supply as a dish menu items right so this is what we are doing so the dishes will give us the, all the dish data you know what is error then let's see okay it is showing only loading that means it doesn't know that data has arrived so here we are showing loading if there is a loading set loading through why because loading and all these state now we have moved outside so loading you can show here we have a state equal equal to idle or state equal equal to pending that means it's loading otherwise if it is idle that means you already have the data so data dot id let's see now okay it's loading is somewhere else also being used it's migrating the old code is really hard sometimes this search dot length we will figure it out what it is doing okay just a footer and then let's see so we got the data okay data is coming here it's just showing loading that means still something is not right if return state equal equal to pending so that means uh, state is still uh, coming as a pen pending use selector selected restaurant so we will see selected restaurant so when you are making the call initially it is idle and then these different actions we are performing right fetch restaurant pending fulfilled rejected then fetch restaurant dishes pending it's pending then it will become idle if it is the promise is fulfilled or rejected so let's see what is happening with the api call api call is happening fine because we are getting data okay if i just filter this out this is the geolocation data and this is the data which we have received okay and this data should be there in the redux also let's see our redux state so inside that restaurant selected restaurant data we have this object right which contains the dishes and all so if you see our state is a state dot restaurant dot selected restaurant 
dot data and the state object we know and the data is just an object data is again an array okay let me think about it because it's data zero so data is an array with an object and our state is idle that means uh, we got the data and why it is still loading let's see So here we got the data and the state and here if state is pending so this is all JSX we are returning. So if state equal equal to pending uh, then we will show this loading otherwise ok this is the problem then ok navbar. state equal equal to pending then just show the the loading otherwise if state equal equal to idle then just show everything otherwise don't show anything okay Now, what is the state is coming undefined? That's strange. So let's debug this. State is undefined. Data is undefined. That's fine. State is still undefined. Data is an array of length zero. Then state become undefined. Data is undefined. So let's see our state object, use selector, selected restaurant and here we are trying extracting state and data from this. So if you see our slice, restaurant slice, here we are trying to access restaurant dot selected restaurant, selected restaurant has a two properties, status, okay, uh, I got this problem then I think. It is status it is status not state and if status equal equal to idle the then show this otherwise show the loading and then we got another problem I guess think. that we can fix so here we are trying to fetch the restaurant information so state is not defined okay somewhere we are using state so this is just like a basic ui we are rendering for the restaurant page now the properties might be different and this is like the name information and all so we got the data now and everything is at least working properly so data now we can extract the properties from here so data dot name okay so data is an array is it an array then it should be data as a hmm. ideally selected restaurant should be an object okay let's uh, fix this thing inside our slice API data data is an array and this should be an object and then when you are putting it so what we are assigning action dot payload action dot payload should also be an object or an array because we are trying to fetch the, the single restaurant object so selected restaurant it's rejected so it will be a empty action dot payload it will be an empty object okay i will just check the redux state data is still an array 
I mean, it should be just inside that all these properties should be inside this uh, data object. So that means uh, whatever we are doing, action.payload is coming as an array. That means the API is returning as an array. Okay, let's see the API call. Why I'm not able to see the API call? Okay, this is the API call and it is returning this as an array. So that's uh, the, the problem because it's a single restaurant object. It should not be returning this as an array. So what we can do is we can also update our APIs. So we are talking about restaurant controller, restaurant controller. Give me the particular restaurant data. Get by ID, get restaurant by ID and then it should be find one now it would be an object and we should be happy our redux uh, state should be different let's see if uh, our nest gs app is rendered okay we will reload the page and see the change okay yeah our Redux state is now different because all the properties are now coming inside data. So data has all these properties, right? ID, name, description, ratings, overall ratings, thumbnails, and uh, all the dishes. So that is coming inside dishes. And now our app is breaking because uh, we change the type. Array.filter cannot read property includes. That we can fix. Restaurant.tsx. We are trying to filter based on this line 27 because it's old code and I'm trying to make it compatible. That's why we need to do some little extra efforts. So here what it is doing is dish data dot filter and here dish dot restaurant dot includes ID. Okay, we don't need to do it. Whatever the dishes we are getting is the dish data you don't need to filter it based on the restaurant id all are we are getting that is that belongs to that restaurant only and we got this data object now inside this data we can extract all these properties data dot name now data dot name yeah data dot name is coming Thumbnail, uh, we have some thumbnail so we can show one image that is coming from. So this is the new bar. Okay, home name, background, we have an image. And these are some filters data dot placeholder. It about thumbnails. Uh, so we have these images thumbnails zero. We will make sure that we are passing the correct data. So but it's clone and now we just need to fetch all the menu items. So data dot menu items data dot uh, okay here we are showing the ratings data dot ratings delivery time that is just delivery time that is in uh, minutes okay delivery time and average price I think okay it should be price only. And here we have some dish menu items, right? So we are we are going to iterate on to that. And we are going to provide some simple search also. Data dot uh, dishes dot map. And uh, this is the menu item. We have a category. I mean, I will just clean this stuff, which is just showing all the information about, okay, what all menu items you have. So you can see 
this is all we are rendering and then when you click on veg only non veg these are like simple filters on the data which you already fetched so my objective is only to show you this particular page you can see the breadcrumb and all this is like a restaurant page where we are showing the restaurant information on all the dish menu items and then here you can search so it's like a simple search we are going to build because these are the dish menu items which you are getting in an array from an array so if whatever you type it's like a simple filter you can build in the react this is an array and you just provide a filter on top of that wedge only so the ch checkbox what it will do is it will just uh, these are like filters search filter and then here is like a wedge non wedge and all these checkboxes you can place in okay so what i need to do is i need to do some cleanup uh, cleanup regarding okay showing all the dish menu items and all so this is the restaurant landing page and then we need to fetch all the restaurant dish menu items in this uh, vertical stack okay so let me do the cleanup and then we'll uh, connect in the next video i will be showing up at least the landing page and then with working with all the these filters and this restaurant landing page with all the dish menu items